Guys, it's 2.55, just got a call from Dave Walter. Car's done, let me pick it up. Boy, this guy has balls. Deja vu, there's that other E39. Hello, here is a much better welcoming to the vlog. It's 3.45, I've already seen the intro, but we're here, we just got the car. Uh, they, when they put that previous board in the front, they put the ground wire for the signal and the signal, signal wire on the ground. So they uh, swapped the wires on it. So they switched them today back to where they should be. They said it works. From what I can tell, it works. But it's going to take a couple days to see if they work continuously all the time. Anyways, there's no charge for the service. Um, headed home now. Back on Route 8. I'm trying to beat traffic and my engine lights off again. So that'll come back on in a day. But yeah, so that's done. Thank God. Oh, no. Somebody's day just got dicked. That just about ruins the whole day. Oh, there's more. Must have had drugs in the car. Or Castro. All right, guys, you probably can't even see me. I'm out here playing trash duty, if that even makes sense. I came out to check the tire pressure on my mom's car like two weeks ago. I may have filmed it or not, I don't remember. Uh, I looked at her front left tire by the driver's door, and it was really low. There were like six pounds of pressure in it, and it's supposed to have about 29, so I don't know what was up with that. I mean, I. I periodically check them, you know, she doesn't really do that, so I pretty much just take a look at that car every once in a while, make sure everything's good, and that wasn't, uh, but right now I'm out here, when I came home uh, from Dave Walter, I noticed some, I don't know if they were newspaper things or ads or something floating around the yard, so I just picked that up and discarded of it, but uh, I'm going to run over and check her tire pressure now, and uh, see if they're low, so... We'll see in two weeks. There could be something up with those tires. They're only two years old. They're Goodyear, um, Goodyear Eagles, I think, or something like that. Found two more things in the front yard that needed to be thrown away. I don't know why there's garbage blowing everywhere, but uh, I haven't checked my tires for a while either. It was this one up here. It looks fine. There's a little bit of a bulbous spot at the bottom, so we'll see what it is. Uh, it looks like there's just 20 pounds in there, so that's about 10 down. Maybe there's something up with this tire. I'm going to have to keep my eye on it. But the other one supposed to be obviously 29, actually 32 in the front and 29 in the back. Uh, that one looks a little low too, so I'll fill them up again. If this keeps up, maybe we'll have to go and have a patch put in or something a little bit more invasive. There we go. Nine tires filled up, all four on each car plus her spare. Cleaned my windows, wheels, and exhaust. Ready for tomorrow, Wednesday, the last day of school before winter break. Freaking right. <laughs> well, you can tell I got my emails done and I have time for this. All right, so it's just about 11 o'clock. I'm going to run you outside and show you the lights. Um, should be able to see. A, actually, here's one part of the video that it actually needs to be dark for. Um, I mentioned before that the board they put in last time was fine. Whoever it was just put the wires on backwards. And with the amount of cars they have in there and the amount of work, that they have to do in a day, I completely understand that. That place is just swamped. It's got to be a gold mine. Anyways, it was like $614 for the board and install, and about $150 for, I think it was $150 or $100 for um, the diagnosis. So this is like a $750 fix. If I put the key, that's accessory. Turn it one more time, you'll hear the, you'll hear the suspension pump itself up. If we turn on just these lights, we have this and that, and music. And now if I turn the headlights on, you'll be able to see the beam on the wall, and you'll be able to see it level. I'll hold the camera as still as possible. Actually, maybe out here, way better. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it on video there, but it moved up. On the wall, you know, I'm only maybe a foot away from the wall, 18 inches. Yes, I know, I'm still going to paint this next spring. It's a huge mess in here. Um, the projector lights in there point to here. Well, actually, zero is about here. They level down to their lowest position, and they come back up to zero. And well, you didn't just see this on camera because I didn't turn them both on at the same time. But then they go up to this. This is where they should be. Now, it only moved maybe this much from what you saw. But this much, 40 feet out on the road, is maybe 40 or 50 feet that you're not going to see in front of you. So it's a huge level. And just think about this as being a triangle. If this moves 10 degrees and your opposite side is 50 feet, you've got to be able to find the adjacent and the hypotenuse side. I've been doing way too much trig. But now they're working wonderfully. 
Thank God. So that is it for today's vlog. Day 373 in the books. Tomorrow finally is the last day until winter break, so that'll be great. Um, this year, more than ever, I've heard people complaining about they really need break, you're really looking forward to this. And this year, more than ever, I, I, I didn't feel that. I don't know if it's just being so busy, I haven't had time to sit down and think, wow, I'm doing too much school, you know, I need, I need some time to sleep in, but obviously I'm looking forward to it. So tomorrow's gonna be a good day, with uh, the exception of one more algebra quiz. Oh, I'm really glad to be um, finishing this class in the next month or so. Our semester ends in late January, mid late January, and then we have semester finals, which will be great. But I'm gonna run in and throw this together, send it up to YouTube, catch up on some vlogs, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. Good night.